All right, hey guys, it's me, me here. We're back to Paper Mario Sticker Star. We're gonna be going back to World Five One because I actually missed a couple things in the last episode in here. I don't know how I did that, but either way, we're gonna go ahead and hit it up now. Just get past all this, and I'll get back to where we need to go. All right, when you're over here, where you see that little question block is over there, you'll see that little spear guy in the middle of it. But if you go over here to the back and go up to the right, you'll see a hidden alcove, and you'll actually get this thing's thing here. You got the toy bat! So that's the first thing we missed. Now let's head over to where the second thing is. Alright, when you head out here, you will actually see this little flower where you went past before that we need to actually hit down. But if you actually go around it, head over to the right, you'll see a hidden cave. And inside this hidden cave is... You got the HP up heart! So yes, I don't know how I missed that, but uh, either way I did, so that was kind of crucial and kind of important, but either way we got it now, so that's all that matters. Now let's go back to the world map and head actually back to world 5-2, where we need to actually need to go. So, anyway, let me make sure I actually have a, a door sticker in here. Let me make sure it is right. Yep, I got one. Alright, so let's head into world 5-2. Now, right off the bat, you'll see right over here, it doesn't actually go any further, but if you go down and over here, there's actually a secret place that has a secret door. So let's go ahead and place down our secret door sticker right here. One right off the bat, really quickly, which means they're probably going to be going after some other type of gimmick thing. Either way, let's go inside here and see what we find. Woo. Here, we will find another vacuum type item. You got the mini vacuum! So yes, we got that. That's always a nice thing to have. So let's go ahead and see what this chapter has in store for us. Quite a short chapter, but quite fun, I think. I like it. I enjoy this chapter very much. Just head over here and just grab this jump sticker, because why not? We need to grab some more stickers. Let me go arrange my stickers real quick in the orderly fashion. I don't think it really matters what order I put them in right now, honestly, but whatever. We'll go here and we'll break this block. Now, in this stage here, you're going to be on a raft this entire time. You can actually move the raft if you head over to, if you head to the right side of it. You make it go right. If you head over to the left, it makes it go to the left. Ever so slightly, but ever so much what you need it to. Now, each time the raft gets hit, it loses a segment. If you go, if you have any less segments than two, you will automatically lose them to start over. So make sure you don't lose too many. You want to keep as many segments as you possibly can by the end of it. Now these coins are tempting, you could actually get all the coins if you want to. You could of course run this way to actually move it each way, you don't have to actually stand there. But as long as you stay here, it should be conveniently fine. So you want to actually keep it that way, you don't want to hit the walls by any chance. Do not hit the walls because that actually counts I believe as missing. As an actual, if you actually lose a segment if you actually hit the walls. So you don't want to do that. You will however see these shy guys trying to drop these and try to actually bust your raft that way so run out of the way don't let the shy guys hit you head over to the right or that was the left and I got that wrong somehow this is kind of hard to dodge but let's make sure you do that all right so far so good all right now we're gonna head down the waterfall and see what else is gonna go in our way A line of coins, that's always nice to see. Mmm, coins. Lots and lots of coins. Like I said, don't get too close to the center, because otherwise you will get hurt. Now over there on the right side, you'll see a toad getting hurt. Don't worry, you don't. You can't jump off the raft onto this side, so don't worry about it right now. You cannot actually approach him. So do not think you can. It is just a hint of what you need to do later. That's all that is there for aside from the coins. And now there's this segment here. But here, you're pretty, pretty, this is pretty easy overall. Once you see those guys actually hitting on the raft, you of course want to hit them. So you want to make sure you do that. You'll see it coming on here, and you just knock them down. Of course, as you go on here, there are more and more of these. I want to wait to actually go in here and grab this thing sticker here. Grab this before you grab anything else. You got the rubber ducky! So that's always good there, that's a nice little thing. And break that, all right. So now you'll see these two actually coming under at the same time. You want to hit them off at the same time. Well, not the, you can't hit them at the same time. But this part here is kind of hard to hit them all without actually losing any piece. So just do what you can. Just try to just try to be careful. 
I lost a piece, but oh well. What can you do? As long as you don't lose any more than three pieces, you're good. And that's actually the end of it. That's that's pretty much it. So with that, that's it. That is quite literally the end of the chapter. You, can, you don't have to even fight these guys. and kind of set pieces right there. But before we do that, we actually want to go over to the left. Because we know where that, we saw that toad getting hurt before. But if you head to the left and head down this little pipe. And head over to the left. Just keep going this way. You'll see this little block here. You get yourself a flashy clone jump, which is nice. And it is this guy is getting hurt here. Mario, it's uh, it's happened again. I'm getting the shakedown. Again, even on this faraway continent. But coins don't know borders, right? So you can pay these guys 500 coins till they look the other way? Uh, pay what? Yeah, the feet of Fury know no borders either. Nor do they know mercy. Go get them. Oh no, it's spear guys. Oh no, what are you going to do? Only two of them. Just kidding, there are five. And just kidding, still not a threat. I have a shiny shell. And you're all dead. Yay! How many coins will I get for this? Just one. One coin for the perfect bonus. Well, that was kind of lame. Huh. What are we going to get this time? Mario, I've gotten smacked around thugs all over the world now. And every time you saved me, I mean, I mean it when I say thank you. I set on a journey to find myself, but in the end, all I found was you, saving me from hooligans. Humph. Not really the illumination I was looking for, but still, the experience made me realize something important. The realization comes a little too late, but hey, it is what it is. One way or another, my journey is over. I'm going back to Deagleburg right away. Thanks again. Did anyone give us anything? Oh well. I guess we can head back to Deagleburg and see what's what's going on there. Get back to the little house and see what's up. Anyway, just head back down here and we can finally grab that comet star base. I'm not going to bother fighting those little guys over there. They don't seem to be harming anyone, they just they seem to really like that little star. You don't even have to hurt them, they're just loving themselves. You don't even get anything for, if you- I actually tried fighting all these guys see if I got anything for fighting them all of them. You don't. Anyway, let's send this right here and get our comet star piece! I don't think we'll get any coins for that, but uh, I could be wrong. Oh, well you, you got more coins than I thought you were just for fighting those little, uh, those shy guys that you found before. That's it. 6400, that's not bad. Either way, that of course is the end of the chapter, and it's going to open up World 6-3. So yes, very, very short chapter, but before we go to 5-3, not 6-3, let's actually head back to Deagleburg and see what that guy wants from us. See what he's going back here for. Let's head back to his house. You can just say the same thing as always. Now his house is actually the middle house, which is actually right here. Let's open this up. Wait. No, wait. That's not the house. The house is... The one on the right, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Oh, are you the guy? Oh, I don't live here. I'm just watching the house while my bud's off on a trip. It's his house. Alright. Now, you'll see a postcard here for each and every chapter you save the guy in. We'll start off with the first one. Dear bud, my journey is fraught with danger. I was lately... a Costed by some flimsy Goombas bent on mischief, but I dispatched them with ease. They cried, Forgive us, mighty toad, and left me twenty coins. Satisfactory. Pray tell what is better than a coin well earned with knuckles. Not. In any case, my journey continues. Will write when circumstances permit. World 2. Dear Bud, in the unrelenting heat of the desert, tensions mount, and the spirit quails. Yet this toad presses on. Huzzah! The comforting strums of guitar seem omnipresent, a pleasing backdrop to the shimmering vistas of both Pyramid and Sphinx all melts into a mirage dream. As I trod the sands, I treated some local children to a cold beverage. How lovely such chance meetings are. We are all strangers in a strange world. Much as I would love to linger here, I must journey on until I write again. That This one, we just fought that one Goomba that actually folded into two. This was that little ring of Paragoombas. This one here is World 3, I believe, or, is, yeah, this is World 3, with the bloopers. Dear Bud, my ears once clogged with the words of men, now hear all. If one listens closely, one can hear the voice of the woods. 
I had tried the, the hub of town life, I had to come to wonder, what is a toad? And so I embarked on this epic journey, yes, a journey to find myself. I've come to realize that a toad must learn his limits, he must dispose of his worldly desires, and most of all, he must be content with his inner toad. My inner toad is more than content. He is mighty. Poison surrounds me, but I fear not its acid bite. I shall donate my shiny mushroom sticker to one in need. My great journey of self-discovery continues. I will write soon. World 4, where you fought those uh, shy guys that were like tenfold, that actually had 120 HP each and had some pretty good damage. Dear Bud, my body, this crude vessel, is so cold, but my spirit is ablaze. So many attractions command my eye, such a wealth of entertainment calls to me that I quite lose track of time. The tickets are rather on the expensive side, but the visions I have witnessed are worth any price. I cannot tarry, however, a land of pure, untamed wilderness lies ahead of me. Pray tell what chance encounters lie in wait for me there. The mountains rise up to greet me as I set out on the next leg of my journey. Until next time. And then his final postcard, which he just saw. Dear Bud, Confession time! I've been getting whooped up and down two continents, and I've been saved time and time again by a fellow traveler. Those, whooping, those whoopings opened my eyes, Bud. And I know now my mission in life. I've got to do my part to help Princess Peach. She needs us all to try our best. I have no idea if I'll make it back in time to help revive the Secret Fest, but I'll try my darndest. I'll make the Princess proud if it's the last thing I do. Until then, I remain your bud. Whoa! Talk about an awakening for a toad to embrace his calling like that! It's making me get all misty! I salute you, bud! <laughs> and for that, you got another HP up heart! So yes, for saving the toad in all five areas, you talk to this guy, you'll get another HP up hearts. That means you only have one left before we're done with that side quest for the HP up hearts. Humph. You know what? I know you're going to save Princess Peach. It's a done deal. And then, when the two of you return to the kingdom in total triumph, it is my totally duty to welcome you back with a smile and a vigorous back pat. Like my bud, I finally discovered my calling in life. I feel complete! And thus, he goes off to help the Secret Fest himself. So yes, we actually helped the Toads, saved his life on a constant basis, and he realized, I like this game for the fact that the Toads actually do something. They actually try to help in any way, not just like, hey, look, uh, Buster came again, we're just going to sit in a corner and, you know, cry. Well, actually, that's kind of what they did at the beginning, but maybe. Anyway, with that, let's head back to the world map, now that we have our little HP up heart there. And head back. So next time in Paper Mario Sticker Star, now we're done with that, we'll be heading on the rapids again in World 5-3 Long Fall Falls. See you guys then.